Hello everyone, this is John from RSMV Help, and today we're going to be working on moving um, unanimated objects, um, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. For this uh, effect, you're going to need a, a friend to work with. In this case, I'm using my friend Dreadlocker7. What you're going to do is have your friend go to their clan chat. As you can see, if I go to his clan chat, he is in it and I'm going to go to my clan chat and we're going to stage a war in clan wars as soon as I can get this okay so I'm sending a challenge request and what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial is we're going to take that barrier that separates you uh, from fighting and we're going to like push it so um, what, we're, what we need is some clips of clan wars and I'm gonna run up here, and he's going to meet me up at the uh, the barrier. And as you can see, there's these spiky things. And what I'm gonna try and do is get a standard clip, uh, which means that the uh, the camera is not moving, of the spikes, which I am recording right now as I'm talking to you guys. So we have that, those spikes, and at this point you can pause your camera, and what we're going to do is, uh, when these go down, then we're going to get the, um, the fr that frame with them down as well. So um, we're going to wait one minute and two seconds for the barrier to go down. So um, as you can see, the barrier just went down, and now that I have... Um, a solid standard clip of the screen without the barrier. Um, I'm gonna have the fr my friend run away as if he's scared and as you can see he is running away into the distance. And what that's gonna let us do is move the uh, the barrier without his interference I guess you could say. So we're now gonna go into Sony Vegas and get that working. Uh, so here we are in Vegas, and this is the ridiculous thing of what I've gotten it to look like. I uh, actually got to help Chrono Kits or To Goods in a video, and I used this effect, and so I thought this would be a good one to use in RSMB Help, but I realized that in that one, I ha there's a lot going on in that one, like lots of color effects and stuff, so it doesn't look as ridiculous as this is about to look, um, but this is the basic effect and it can be used in a lot of different ways. You are going to need either Sony Vegas 7, Sony Vegas 8 Pro, or Sony Vegas 9 Pro, I probably should have said that, uh, to do this effect because you do need the ability to mask. And really what we're going for here is we're taking this and pushing it away because um, the video that I was helping him with, he hasn't released it yet, it's um, Waking the Demon, and there's something about like these boundaries you push and I was like, that's a great, this is a great idea. So he let me do this for him. So anyways, what happens is, at the very beginning, these just get pushed away. Okay, which I know looks ridiculous, but they, they're they getting pushed away. And then he's running away. Now, of course, if you add some linear blurs and stuff, it might not look terrible. But that's the effect that we're going for. So let's uh, dive into that. Here is our original clip. And... What we need to do is we need to find one sc a good screenshot of uh, what we're going to get. And we're going to zoom in without splitting anything, as I was talking about, um, because of that uh, the whole thing where if you split, then you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to crop and pan everything uh, individually. So we're going to keep it here. And at this point, we're going to go to this button, which is by the video preview window. It's called Sna Save Snapshot to File. Make sure that the quality is best and full so that, um, well, for example, if we go to Draft Quarter, which is the epitome, and we save that screenshot, that's going to look terrible. So we want the best quality screenshot we can get. We have best full. We're going to save that. And I called mine Barrier, so I'll call this Barrier Example. And now we're going to go to the rest of the clip, which is where he's running away after everything is down. 
So we're going to take that and split it and just get some good footage here. So we're going to take that, bring this over to the beginning, because I always like to work at zero, uh, time of zero. And here what we have is, if we only show this, a picture. And then under that, we have um, basically a picture, but without the, the barrier. So what we need to do is on our top picture only have the barrier selected. So if we go to event pan and crop and go to this down here, it's a checkbox, it's called mask. You may never have used it before, that's okay. So we're going to check the mask box and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out um, the barrier. It's very similar to uh, the cookie cutter tool which is creating a mask but this does things that are not basic circles and rectangles. So we're going to start drawing it out. So make click somewhere that you want to start. Make another click. Click. And as you can see, we are cutting out. Uh, you can click and drag um, to uh, make curves, as you see I did. And I'm just doing a fairly rough job. You can always go outside of the picture to uh, make it work. And it doesn't matter after this if you pan and crop because the mask doesn't deal with uh, where the camera is positioned, but rather um, what the camera is focusing on or what you've cut out. So um, by that what I mean is, now that I've cut it out, if I move the, the camera over here, it doesn't. It's not going to matter. It's not going to like cut out a shape in the same in the middle still. So um, it's always going to cut out this. And in the mask, if you go over to path and you go to feather type, go to both and do I don't know eight ten pixels. Um, that just makes it look not too terribly ridiculous. Um, and when we bring the other one back in, it's not going to look bad at all, as you can see. So now what we have is what we had earlier, pretty much. And what we want to do is move this barrier. So we're going to go back into event pan and crop, and this time we're going to go to the, the we're going to go to the position, and I'm going to go maybe start a couple seconds, and then we're going to zoom out, holding Alt and click, and if you look in the video preview you can see how it's uh, being moved based on the movements of my camera or the vent pan crop and we're just going to move this off the screen so when we play that back it's going to look something like this well, that was too fast um, but if we do something slightly more exaggerated it's going to look like this okay hold on let me do a RAM preview here so that it, there you go um, and I know that looks ridiculous, but in a one second clip, it's it's really not going to look that bad. Also, I'd recommend that you uh, do something maybe with Vengeance Other, because that really gives that pushing motion, that action, which I think looks really cool. So, uh, look out for To Good's video, and I think it'll be really cool. Uh, maybe you get to see that. I personally don't have that clip anymore, unfortunately, because my computer has crashed since then, so I lost all of my files. But, um, yeah, this is a nice little effect, kind of an intro to masking for some other stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you. Bye.